Hello Sagittarius, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend, sorry, weekly love reading for the week of June 3rd through the 10th, 2019. The cards I am using, okay, let's see what's going on. Alright, so I feel like some of you guys are getting out of a complicated relationship, okay? Somebody's busting out. Okay. I feel like somebody busting out, but I feel like somebody does not want to let go. Okay. Okay. So I do feel like this is uh, one person wants it over and the other person don't. Okay. So I do feel the sense of somebody wants more. Somebody's feeling like they need more. Uh, and I feel like the other person like, oh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's keep this going. You know, everything is wonderful. Everything is passionate. Not real. Okay. Somebody wants something real. All right. Let's see. Let's get this show on the road. I don't know if I said that already, but apparently your energy is ready to speak. Okay, so definitely somebody's um, controlling, but I feel like this controlling is in the grown-up room, okay? If you've been here, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Sagittarius, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? All right, so we got the High Priestess of Earth here. Yes, Earth in this deck is about not wanting changes, okay? Somebody wants things to say exactly the way they are, okay? But I feel like your energies... Um, I'm going to just say it this way. It could be the other way around. But I feel like your energies is like, no, I don't want this. I want something different. I want something new. I want something better. Um, but I do feel like the person that you're dealing with, like, is, this is pretty good. Don't don't change anything. You know, I like this. You know, but all right. Somebody's ready to change. So trapped. Somebody feels trapped in this situation. Yes, I can feel that. It's just like you want to go, but that connection is still there like right now i'm feeling like warm in my back and, my, and in my chest so i do feel like there's a lot of feelings there and i feel like these um, um a feelings are what is making me want to stop doing this okay it really makes me want to stop doing what i'm doing and i want more you know i know more i i had more i deserve more okay but somebody's feeling feeling trapped by the passion, okay? That's it. All right, so we got the playful uh, reverse here. So this makes me feel like, I do feel like there was a, was a lot of going out. I feel like there was a lot of um, partying. It was more of a relationship relationship here. But I do feel like all that is cut out. It's just like, oh, I'm, I'm coming over. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm coming over. Okay, I got to go. I feel like that's more of what's going on now. All right. So, yes. So, there's some deceit going on here. But what's crazy is I feel like this deceit is to someone outside. So, I'm sorry. But I do feel like this is a third-party relationship here. I do this feel like this is the third party's point of view. I was feeling that in the beginning. But this card definitely makes me feel it now. So somebody's being deceitful to someone at home. I do feel like somebody's telling this person, possibly you, on the side that, you know, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to be. But I feel like, of course, you're not having it anymore. I know I deserve more. Okay. Okay, so we got the strength card reversed here. That's what I was feeling earlier. Uh, the passion, um, and I honestly do feel love from you to this person. So I do feel like you don't want to stop, but you want to stop. But you need. it's like you fighting yourself on what, what you need to do. It's like logic versus love is, is like, I don't know what to do here. I'm like stuck in the middle. Like I, I do love this relationship, like, I can just feel all the love and the passion going down my neck, but it's like, you know you're better than this situation, so you don't want to be here, like, all or nothing, all right, that's an all or nothing kind of situation, but you don't want it to end, okay, so that first thing in the beginning, it, it was basically like, 
It could have been you yourself thinking both of those ways. You want it to end, but you don't want it to end, okay? But of course, you still got the one person that wants everything to continue. But I do feel like the internal fight is way stronger than this outside fight because the outside fight, whew, we got the strength card reversed here. You're losing, okay? Because this person, you're just so warm for them or they're so warm for, for, for you, like emotionally, that... um. You just melt when this person come around. They can tell you anything, okay? You don't believe it, but you'll take it. Yep, I knew it. Dealing in the forbidden. We got the forbidden. So this person is definitely married to someone else. And I feel like you trapped in, in the situation with this person. And I feel like this person is trying to act like they trapped into a marriage. You're never trapped into a marriage. You want to get out when you want to get out, okay? But if you don't want to get out, guess what? You're going to stay there. You're going to stay there, okay? I've been married, and I know you ain't divorced until you're divorced. Me and my ex-husband, maybe like five times we had the papers on the table. I'm talking about within three years. So it's like, until you divorced, you ain't divorced, okay? But I do feel like that may be something that this person is telling you um, that may be getting ready to happen, but I know you don't believe it, and they know you don't believe it. OK, but I do feel like this person is 100 percent lying to the person that they're married to. So you definitely um, are dealing with um, somebody who's married. OK, and then we got this high priestess of air here. So it seems like you're thinking about the whole situation. You're thinking about it logically. Um, you want a real relationship. And I feel like. Yeah, I feel like your emotions is all over the place. Like I want to be with you, but you might do this to me, what you did to them. Um, but I do want more from you, you know, but, ooh, it's all kinds of, ooh, man, all kinds of thoughts going on, but definitely know that you're dealing with somebody that's married, even though you're trying to act like it's not as, um, serious as it is, you know, but it's like when this person talks to you, the cheater talks to you, you just believe what they say. It's like you kind of hypnotized, Okay. All right, so we got the belonging reversed here. So this makes me feel like you feel like you don't belong there, okay? Like, no. Like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. This is not what I'm supposed to do. Um, I feel like this person is acting like they don't belong in this home. They don't want to be there. But I do feel like... I do feel like they want to get out probably like 10% out of 100, though, Okay? But I do feel like you're in a situation where you have stopped, you're, you don't feel like you belong there anymore. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on for the Sagittarius. Sagittarius love reading. June 3rd through the 10th, 2019. Stop it. Going on with the Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so I do, and I am aware that this might be for the cross watchers here. Um, but this is definitely talking as the third party here, okay. All right, so we got the hermit card here. So, yeah, somebody is very depressed and somebody's in way in deep, deep, deep thought about what they should do about a, um, a situation, okay, about this whole situation. But right now, I just feel so into the relationship that words don't mean nothing to me. I feel like a blank canvas board, like, there's no color until this person comes into the room. You know, that's what I feel like right now. All right. All right. So we have the son of swords. Okay. So I do feel like, I feel like some kind of arguing is on hold. Some kind of arguing is on hold. Or this could be like somebody is not arguing, not, not fighting. But I do feel like somebody got some information and they're just waiting to get where they need to be. Stop it. Sorry. Stop. 
Yes. Okay. Somebody is definitely getting ready to send some kind of negative messages. Somebody's getting ready to um, send some, whatever this is, is going to start an argument, start a fight. But I do feel like this fight is going to be between the um, wife or the fiance or the uh, partner, whatever it is, um, husband. I do feel like somebody's waiting to send a message. All right, but I do feel like this message is coming through. I feel like somebody is sitting there right now with their finger on the button like, should I send this right now? You know, should I send this? Should I show them what's really going on? All right, so yeah, I feel like somebody wants somebody to make a choice about what's going on. I feel like somebody like, okay, if you don't tell her, I'm going to tell her. Or you don't tell him, I'm going to tell him. Or it's just like somebody needs to choose, or I'm going to send this message, okay? If you're going to keep dealing with me, I'm going to send this message if you don't tell them what's going on with us, okay? Um, or I can just leave, okay? All right, so it seems like no matter what, a situation is going to be complete. Okay, I do feel like somebody is going to be moving on. Okay, and I do feel like some of you guys are going to move across the country, across the state, you know, to a different city if you don't get what you want from this situation. But I do feel like if somebody is trying to put, make somebody stay in this third party situation, I do feel like the person, this third party is going to send messages to the wife or the husband or whoever is at the home. Okay, somebody's going to send some messages there. If, if the um, cheater doesn't say what's going on, okay? And I feel like if the cheater chooses, like, okay, well, I'm not, want, I don't want anything serious, you know, I'll back off a little bit. I do feel like this third party is just going to walk away, okay? I feel like this is going to be a very emotional, it's going to hurt, but I do feel like they're going to try to walk away. But I do feel like some of the people that's going to walk away, I do feel like they still going to send that message. I feel like only if, um, I keep hearing, if you come at me wrong, I feel like if the cheater says anything wrong or disrespectful, hey, cut it out. I feel like if the cheater says anything wrong or disrespectful, I feel like that's when the messages are going to go through anyway. All right. All right. Let's see what this message is about. One card, please. For the Sagittarius. I don't know why I wanted to say Pisces, but... I don't know. Okay, this is great. I never seen this and thought what I thought. So I feel like receipts. Okay, I just learned what this, that meant a couple of weeks ago, and it's crazy that that would come um, here. Sorry, I don't know. I guess that's text messages and stuff, text messages and, and pictures. Um, yeah, so I do feel like somebody's gonna send some receipts there, and I don't know. I feel like some of you guys uh, may have a child, okay? But I feel like this child is like two or three. I feel like this child is old enough to walk, okay? So definitely this situation been going on for a long time, okay? This ain't no uh, two, three-month thing. I feel like this has been going on for, I'm feeling like at least two years, okay? So let's see. Let's see. Or you've known each other for at least two years. Flirting might have turned into something else. Let's see what's going on with this two of wands. One card, please, for the Sagittarius. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I do feel like somebody may just keep all this stuff that's hidden, hidden and walk away. But I do feel like it, it, it all depends on the cheater. What the cheater say. If the cheater say something not right, hey, sorry. If the cheaters say something not right, the messages are going out. So I do feel like this person that, that's strong and got all this passion is, is waiting, to, waiting to shoot. But I also feel like they want to walk away peaceful, peacefully, but I know it's going to be emotional, okay? All right, so we got the Six of Pentacles here. This makes me feel like... I think this in the whole is just like what you put in the situation is what you're getting out of. And I feel like that's just the thought process of this. It's like what I'm putting into a relationship, I'm going to get out of it. And I feel like this is what's making somebody feel like it's time to go. Because if I'm just putting myself out there as somebody that want to deal with somebody that has somebody else and it's just me, them, and they 
wife or husband, you know, how much does that make me worth? Okay, so I do feel like somebody is developing their worth right here. And I do feel like in the next situation, you're going to get more than what you bargained for. Okay, you're going to end up getting more than you're given. All right, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.